Yeah, I just wanted to share this um, this lovely clip I saw on TV of this woman, an elderly lady and her husband, who were um, who both recently uh, had been given the um, COVID nineteen vaccine, and um, I couldn't find actually the full clip. Um, it was originally on Sky News. Um, this is a, a slightly badly cut Channel f uh, Five version that was on Channel Five News that I found on YouTube. But, um, but basically, the woman was asked, you know. Um, you know, what, what does it mean to you? You know, you're going to be able to hug, hug your grandchildren and stuff like that. And when she was asked about her grandchildren, she actually started crying. And, you know, you could see, you know, she said just how much it uh, it means to her, it meant to her. So, um, you know, to be able to hug her grandkid and have some of her freedoms back. Um, and she actually got quite emotional. So it's a, it's a really lovely clip. Um, so I just thought I'd show it now. Sarah and Derek Platt each got their first dose today. We can now think about going into the future uh, with a bit more optimism sort of thing. It means a heck of a lot. You'd be crying her eyes out the whole time. The aim so far has been to advise not to do that at the moment because you probably not know to. with the vaccines they actually take several weeks before they're maximally um, effective. So it's really important that people still stay on their guard even if they've had that first uh, vaccination because ideally so we want even them to then, have if the second they wait one. the number of weeks, two weeks, three weeks to be safe, should they then yeah. say, well, look, I can just ease off a bit? Yeah. No, I, I don't think they can, Nick. I think, um, you know, the point of the vaccine is we've got to really try to get as many people vaccinated. Imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. The moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. It depends on you.